In this lecture, I'm going to talk about running RPT for the first time and uh, creating a workspace and having it prompt you for a install license and installing the license. So I start off by running a rational performance tester and start menu. You'll see that there's actually two instances of it. There's full Eclipse and then there's a streamlined version. Uh, you can use either one. Uh, Full Eclipse shows you a few more options that you don't need. So you launch it. I'm going to create a new workspace right here. I'm going to name it Sample Workspace. Then I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that as soon as I bring it up, it's going to tell me I don't have a permanent license. Or I don't have a license. Now, when you run this for the very first time, you may have a 30 day preliminary license and it might not prompt you for a license but since I've had RPT installed on this machine before it does ask me to manage license now in some versions of Windows you cannot manage licenses uh, because it, you have to run with uh, administrative privileges so I'm going to launch the, the installation manager from the, the start menu and I'm going to run as administrator and that will give me the necessary missions that I need. And, uh, the license I'm going to use, the install license I'm going to use is in a file, a jar file. And so I'm going to click on Manage Licenses and IBM Installation Manager. And I'm going to tell it that I'm going to use a product activation kit, which is what I'm calling and install license and then I'm going to navigate to that by hitting next and it's going to let me browse to a file and I have a, a license file on my file system that I got when I purchased the product and you'll get one too and I just have to remember where it is and navigate to it There it is. You'll see it's a jar file. And I just say uh, next. And uh, read the license agreement as always and accept the terms of the agreement. And then click finish. And then it's done. I now have a permanent license in place and it should not prompt me again. Okay, now that I've installed the permanent license, I'm going to open up the workspace again. This time it'll let me do it. And one subtle difference there is that I just opened up Full Eclipse, and before I had opened up Streamlined Eclipse, and as a result, it does not remember the workspace that I was using. And so I'll have to browse for it. If I had opened the same version of Eclipse that I had done before, it would remember it and it would be in that window. All right, so I navigated to the workspace I created before. And now it opens up just fine. It gives you a landing page with a little bit of tutorial stuff there, which I can close and or you can read. And the first thing I'm going to do, you can see that the workspace is empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is file new performance test project. That'll create a new performance test project that we can use. You give it a name, any name will do. Just calling it tutorial one here. Say next, and it asks you what types of uh, folders you should create. And I'm, I don't know what a comp, I mean, I know what a compound test is, but I don't have much experience with it, so I'm not going to you create a compound test folder that's new to 8.5. I'm going to create data pools, locations, results, schedules, and tests. Data pools are where you store files worth of information that you're going to substitute from in a test. Locations are locations that you're going to monitor for resource utilization, for example, CPU utilization. Results are where you store your results from performance test runs. Schedules are 
when you put a set of tests together, you put them into a schedule, and so you can store your schedules into that folder, and the tests are the individual recordings that you make, uh, and then you put them together in a schedule. So you select what you want, you say finish, and it will create those folders. It's, it's prompting me to actually go and record a test, which I'm not going to do right now. I can do that later. So there it shows you that the folders that I created exist. And uh, I'm going to create a a new folder which I called rules and there's there's two views there's the logical view and a physical view those little things up at the top and you see when I clicked on the little icon on the top it went from the logical view to the physical views two slightly different views of the file system and in what and showed the rules there for the folder that I created so that showed you how to create some folders as well.